Hi everyone, happy Friday, TGIF in my life. I don't know about for you, but um, today I wanted to talk, to talk to you about fear. And what would you say your number one fear is? So fear looks different for everyone. It is unique to each person. And maybe you don't even realize that something you are experiencing is fear. Maybe you experience fear in the way of anxiety, apprehension, or simply just being stuck and not being able to move forward. So thank you for watching. My name is Alicia. I'm a Navy spouse, a mom of two teenage boys, a personal trainer, and I'm a coach for Faster Way to Fat Loss. My passion is for women to look and feel their best so they can effectively give back to their families, their communities, their churches, and their friends. So back to fear. Fear holds us back from our dreams and holds us back from what we are capable of accomplishing. It's the one thing that truly keeps you from stepping out of your comfort zone. So today I wanna to reference Ruth Sukup. And if you have not heard of her, check out her website where you can do an assessment about fear or buy her book. Her website is doitscared.com. So I recently listened to a podcast where she explained what she calls the seven fear archetypes. And if you purchase her book anywhere, Barnes & Noble, Target, um, anywhere like that, there's something in there you can take the website or you can take the assessment for free um, you just go to her website and put in the code, and remember the website is doitscared.com. So I just wanted to pass along what I've learned from listening just to a podcast that she was featured on, and I want you to find the courage to take action despite your fears. Hi, Mom. Glad you're watching. <laughs> okay, so the seven distinct ways fear has a part in our life, or what she calls the seven archetypes of fear, are as follows. Number one, procrastinator or perfectionist. This person has a fear of making a mistake. They have a fear of getting it wrong. So they don't want to try anything new or they don't want to step out of their comfort zone, mainly for the fact that they're going to make a mistake and it's not going to be perfect. Number two is a rule follower. This person has an unhealthy fear of authority um, they are always thinking that someone is going to crack down on them if they step out of line and they're always wanting to do it the right way. And often they can become paralyzed that they might break a rule and it's holding them back from moving forward of what they can actually accomplish. So these types of people do very well if they have a clear path to follow or a plan that's already set in place for them to follow. So number three is the people pleaser. This person has a fear of being judged for something or they fear what other people are going to think of them. This prevents them from moving forward or taking a leap to a dream because they're worried about what other people are going to think and they are letting that hold them back from reaching something out forward in front of them. Um, number four is the outcast. This person has an underlying fear of rejection. They are scared that someone is not going to like what they're going to do, or they um, might, uh, they, they're afraid that somebody won't like their idea and that they will be rejected. And sometimes this person actually rejects other people before they themselves can be rejected just for the feeling that they're not being, that they're not being rejected. Um, that they are doing it to someone else first. So that was the outcast. So number five is the self-doubter. If you are a self-doubter, you're scared of not being enough. You are caught up in negative self-talk, feelings of that you're unworthy, and they're also very nitpicky with everything they do, or um, they're really nitpicky with others that are close to them, their close friends and their close family. Number six I want to tell you about was the excuse maker. Uh, this person never wants to be pinned down. They are afraid of being actually responsible for something. They um, always have a reason to get out of something and they don't want to commit. They uh, are letting their excuses rule over their life and that right there keeps them from moving forward. Number seven, the last one is the pessimist. The pessimist. This could be you if you are someone who has had hardship in your life or trauma in your life and you're scared of more pain or more adversity coming your way. 
So they kind of feel like, why bother? Why should I even try? And um, this person is definitely more of a, the cup is half empty type of person. Okay, so I just wanna review those seven archetypes of fear. So number one was the procrastinator or the perfectionist. Number two is the rule follower. Number three is a people pleaser. Number four, the outcast. Number five, the self-doubter. Number six, the excuse maker. And number seven is the pessimist. Okay, so first off, um, if you experience any of these, you need to identify your fears and then simply practice how to overcome those fears. So many of you might know right away, oh, this is definitely me, um, which category you're in for the most part. Um, if you need help deciding and you would like to overcome your fears, do take that assessment. I don't get paid for it. I'm not a, um, an affiliate of her at all, but um, I just wanted to share along, pass along what I learned. But um, so do take the, testament, the assessment online and maybe you categorize yourself in more than one category. And that's okay, that might very well be true. Some of us might have a little bit, a few of those, few of those archetypes in us. So it might also just take us a little longer to overcome those fears and you might have a little bit more work to do. So you can overcome the fear the same way that you experience that fear. Once you experience it, be aware of it and stop and think what you need to do to change or to move on from there. Maybe you need an accountability group or maybe you need some sort of community of like-minded people that you can talk about, talk about your issue with. Um, we all need accountability. Think about the area where you are holding yourself back and think of who could help you with that. What are the types of people? Who are the people in your life that could help you? So you also need to take action, okay? Think bigger about what you want. Claim your target. What is it you've always wanted? You've always wanted something, you have a goal or a dream in front of you, but you have been allowing fear to hold you back. You need to give yourself something to work for and have a set goal in mind. You also need to find your why. Why do you wanna make this change? Why do you want to do what you want to do? Why do you have those goals? Why do you have those dreams? Have a clear cut reason or a target or a goal and that will ultimately be bigger than the fear that you're experiencing. So I firmly believe that to be your best self and to go after any of these goals, to conquer your fears, you have to have your health and wellness, mental wellness on track first. Okay, however, maybe that's exactly your fear. Maybe you, that's what you're fearing right now and you don't know what to do. So you need to find out what is holding you back. I'd love to be your coach for Faster Way to Fat Loss. I can help you overcome your relationship with food. I can help guide you as you learn quick and easy ways to, um, to exercise, how to fit it in your day. And I can help you learning how food is fuel and why we need to be eating the right balance of macronutrients. So what is it that you are afraid of? what other people will think, or maybe that it will be hard for you and you have to get out of your comfort zone. Maybe that you could ultimately fail. Um, there's all types of fears. And maybe this, the fear is that simply nothing has worked for you in the past and you're afraid to jump into one more program, um, one more thing to follow, one more thing that's holding you back, but really, you need to get out and reach for those goals and start moving forward from what is holding you back. So as a coach, um, I have heard all the excuses. I've heard all the reasons why you can't try fast way to fat loss, but there will never be a perfect time. Life goes on, we're all busy. Um, it's just the best time is just jump in now. So I want to challenge you to figure out your fears, make a plan to change them, whatever your goal is, your dream that you have in mind out in front of you. Um, get out of your comfort zone and move forward, whatever that dream or goal could be. So I'll post a link below about Faster Way to Fat Loss where you can learn more about the program. And if you're watching on Instagram, please check the link in my profile. As always, I would love to answer your questions, so don't hesitate to send me a message or put something in the comments below. I am starting my next groups on Monday. We start prep week. We have a whole week of prep week and then six weeks where you um, are learning all the different strategies that we offer and how to change your relationship with food and get healthy and have a great summer. So thank you for watching. Have a great day and uh, please share this video with anyone that you might